Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. Topping the night, uh, a big move and a battle we've been following now for months. Yeah, people living near Ford's transmission plant in Livonia are filing a lawsuit against the automaker. They claim they've endured years of toxic chemicals spreading throughout their community. Coco McAvoy has a closer look at why they're concerned and what Ford is saying about it tonight. The Alden Village neighborhood in Livonia is a peaceful community where people have raised their families for years, but now they're dealing with a serious problem. It's kind of a unique home. Um, he's done it all. You know, I've been the cheerleader for that. And for three decades, Dennis and Kathy Gardner made unforgettable memories at their unique home. This was our nest egg and the place where we happily raise our family. Now their once quiet backyard is anything but. Toxic chemicals invaded their home for years, coming from Ford's Livonia transmission plant next door. Anything that they have on their property is going to eventually come this way. Ford installed mitigation systems to stop the spread of the toxins, but neighbors don't think that's enough. It doesn't matter that it's Ford. It doesn't matter that it's a gazillion dollar company. They're fighting back, holding a press conference this morning to talk about their lawsuit against Ford. But essentially to compensate them for the nightmare uh, that has become their lives. Impacting even the youngest of neighbors. 12 year old Delaney Mitter made a sign outlining her fears. Kids should have like a thought in this too, and it's not about adults, it's everyone. The neighbors aren't backing down anytime soon, and they hope one day their homes will be safe from chemicals again. Brought our babies home to this and raised them and weren't given the choice. And Ford Motor Company did release a statement. It reads, quote, in part, we long ago acknowledge and have been actively addressing a matter that resulted from practices more than 40 years ago in cooperation with the state's Office of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy. Every indication is there is no health risk to residents, including through drinking water. We'll, of course, keep track of this story. Back to you. Coco, before you go, are the neighbors asking Ford for a specific amount of money to fix the problem? So the attorneys for the neighbors say they don't have a specific number at this time because they're saying they're going to let a Wayne County jury decide. Okay. All right, Coco.